Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use U-Model to take models out of Bioshock 2. This also works with any other game using the Unreal Engine. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to download U-Model. It's free, don't worry. Okay, go to, go to this one. Gildor. Yep, this is right. Then go download um, whatever operating system you have and it will start downloading. Once you've got that, open up UModel. Now you get these three, oh, two files. These files you're going to need to copy into your game folder which in my case is Bioshock 2 not just the game folder you have to go back to SP content and we'll put it in content here just copy and paste it in there okay now here comes the pretty difficult part um, what we're gonna do we're gonna pop into maps and there's all the names of the map Keep one of the names in mind that you want to use. Um, right now I'm just going to use Abyss. And go over to Start, Run, or the Windows button and R at the same time. And press CMD. Now you're going to go CD, space, copy the directory, paste it in there. And this will make this directory your command line. And then you're going to go umodel dash meshes and then the name of the map. Um, this is just if you want to view it. It's not 100% accurate, this one. It's a little bit crashy um, when you're viewing the thing. Uh, see several warnings. But this is just how to view it right now. Right, done. Yeah, I see missing textures, crashes. So what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna go U-Model, dash, export, abyss. Now this is gonna take a long time um, oh, depending on the speed of your computer and how big the map file is. Alright guys, now it's done. Um, we don't need this. Now we've got this abyss file here. You got the abyss file. So what I'm going to do, so it doesn't block up my Bioshock folder, I'm just going to make folder called U model on the desktop and I am going to cut and paste it into this folder okay now that we've got this don't need this now that we've got this abyss file it's filled with different folders um, skeletal mesh is every single thing that can move that has a skeleton has bones and joints in the game such as different characters and you know even cameras and then static mesh is just things like cups tables things that won't move and then all the textures for it um, right now we don't really need to mess with any of these three folders so uh, don't worry about them so in order to actually open these files since they're PSK files we're gonna need a program called milkshake 3d so what we're gonna do go back on the internet go to Google oh well you don't need to go to Google because I'll post the links in the description. And 
No, not milkshake. Milkshake. <laughs> My bad. So right now I'm just. I'm gonna get a beta. Okay, just start installing it. Next, next. I agree. Um, well, you, right now you're just gonna use the trial version. Um, you're gonna you're gonna have to use a trial version. It's only lasts thirty days, but yeah, you can uninstall it and reinstall it once that's been used up. Uh, that's done. Finish. Now we've got Milkshape 3D. Yeah. Um, double click on it. Open it up. Okay. And now we're going to go File, Import, Unreal PSK slash PSA. This is just the one right next to the arrow. Or arrow arrow so it's easier to remember just click that one now we're gonna browse to our U model folder our map skeletal mesh and now here are all the different meshes for the game let's make it easier to see here these are just the meshes for skeletal meshes in this one map Let's see airline air switch I mean inside. and all of this now it's pretty difficult to know but um it's gonna be hard to find different meshes because it's like BS mesh CF mesh these are different um mutants oh yeah those mutants We've got some big daddies here, and yeah, so right now, for the sake of this, I'm just going to grab the gatherer girl, i do this, yep, there she is, and all her might. What I don't understand, when you import it into Cinema 4D or whatever program you're using, it does not come with the bones it's just a normal model it doesn't have the bones with it can be quite irritating at some points so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go export and I'm gonna use wavefront obj to make it an object file um, make her actually I'll make her little sister Now, a uh, pretty easy way, not easy, uh, this can be a little bit difficult at some points, but it's a very good way to figure out where the textures are, because you might be browsing through the texture folder all day, trying to find the different one, or the right one for it, because they're not named like Gatherer Girl, they're not named the same. So we're going to go back to Skeleton. Skeletal mesh. Um, find the gather a girl again because I lost her. There, gather a girl dot psk. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna. I shouldn't have closed that um, command prompt. But open up this again. Sp content. All right. Get this again. CD that U model um, meshes abyss. That's the map we're on, and gather a girl or the name of whatever. Now this is going to open up just that one. It's just going to open up this one. Doesn't have the textures with it, but it will say in here. If you t take a look, it says ls dash p, or ls underscore p underscore head underscore emissive. What we need is the diffuse map. 
So now we know where that one is. Alright, um see ya next part, guys. Um this is just part one, this is just how to use U model. But part two I'm gonna be showing how to place the model into Cinema 4D and then part three I'm gonna have um setting up the full thing and the render settings. Thank you.